Good afternoon, everyone. I want to talk to you a little bit about the environment and ecosystems. Have you ever thought about how you could impact the environment that you live in, and furthermore, this big ecosystem that, that we're all involved with? Well, as you know, Detroit gets a lot of news coverage. There are a lot of stories that are on the news that talk about the negative things of, of Detroit, um, the vacant land, dilapidated properties, uh, buildings that have been pretty much abandoned or vacant since the 67 riots. But that's all true. That exists. But Detroit is a gem, in fact. There are so many different precious resources there, gifted and talented people, and there's a lot of positive things that are going on in that city. And we wanted to create a movement in Detroit. We wanted to create a composting company because we felt that there were so many resources and there are a lot of corporations in the city who are pushing zero waste, landfill free. And when the urban farming movement kicked off, they thought, you know, what can we do with this vacant land? What can we do with some of these buildings? Do we tear them down? Do we rebuild? What can we do? And we, we wanted to be a part of the recovery process of that. So I approached the Detroit Zoological Society, General Motors, Ford, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, and many more corporations, and I asked them would they be willing to give me their food waste. And of course, they wanted to know why, and the Detroit Zoological Society wanted to know how they could fit into uh, that equation, and I said, it's simple. The urban farming movement is a way for us to help recover, and we want to be an engine for that movement. But it's not just about the food, but it's also about the soil contamination and the issues that we're dealing with. And we want to we want to start developing soil variations. We want to, you know, create these green pathways to get the attention of the community. But we want to create a closed-loop system that could be replicated anywhere. So when the Detroit Zoological Society decided that they would allow us to have their herbivore manure, which is, of course, the animals who eat green, organic plant matter, they came on board. And then some of the corporations decided they wanted to see where I was going, so they participated as well. And so within this closed-loop system, we wanted to create the system so it would become socially, economically, and environmentally impactful. I wanted to help corporations save money. I wanted to make sure the zoo knew that I was going to take this precious resource and do something with it. So we take food waste, herbivore manure, we process it, and we make soil from those materials. Now, I'll give you an example. General Motors has a huge headquarters. It's about 5 million square feet. So we took those rooftops on that headquarters building and we put some compost there and we started creating gardens and vacant parking lots, rooftops. So we created this, this system that goes full circle. So we're taking the waste from the cafeterias, local restaurants, uh, breweries, coffee shops, you name it. All of those are resources that can decomp the decomposition of those resources actually turn into soil. So with that being said, we have probably 80 to 100 different examples of this going on through the city where our focus is waste reduction, diverting waste from the landfill. Now, I, of course, am very excited about this movement for the simple fact that the youth, young people such as yourself, are the leaders. You are the future. And so I thought composting would be the baby steps to heading in a direction of waste to energy conversion. We, of course, want to take that waste and also use it because it's an energy source. We can capture methane from it. We can heat greenhouses, we can heat buildings with this. So you guys are the future. You live in this ecosystem. We're all connected to the soil, but we all need to figure out what role we want to play. And all of you can play a significant part in this. 
the ecosystem is precious, and we need to think about how we're going to be involved because we're all connected. Everything that we do within this ecosystem is going to affect the future. I wanted to create a model that would give people a sense of pride, that they could be, in, be involved in a closed loop system that could help feed third world countries, that could help clean up your own environment that you live in. You name it, if you decide to, to step up and get involved in helping the ecosystem, we're going to have a brighter future. And you represent that future. So I want you to think about that from here on out, every day. Think about how you can take something as simple as food waste. Minimize waste. Don't be wasteful. Think about that. We're doing things as simple as feeding the homeless and as well as creating compost. You're the future. Thank you.